Hello everyone and welcome to this class. In this class we are going to study about endocrine logic. Not all of the endocrine logic but only a part okay. Uh, that to intro. Introduction okay. First of all let us start with the word endocrine. Okay. These are glands okay. Which are found in our body. So what they do is they pour their secretions directly into the body then then those secretion reach the target so there will be a gland let us say the, here we have this gland which is endocrine gland it will secrete some secretions into blood okay and from this blood it will go to its target cell that's how it will reach the target and will you know transmit its signal from source to target via blood <clears throat> these endocrine glands are also called ductless glands why they are called ductless gland as you can see the secretions are being poured into blood not to some duct okay that's why they are called ductless gland and some example of these are like uh, adrenal gland pituitary gland hypothalamus gland etc okay these are the examples of endocrine gland now what about exocrine okay exocrine are those glands which pour their secretions into a specialized duct that's why they are called ducted gland okay so this will be the source including a duct okay just like as you can see here pancreas okay so they will have a duct and from that duct the secretion will go to uh, small intestine okay so here we can say it is a ducted gland but uh, this example is of heterocrine gland which is mixture of this endocrine and exocrine okay and what we are studying basically is endocrinology so the secretions which is, which are secreted by these endocrine glands are called hormones see here hormones and these hormones are chemical messengers that carry signal from one part to target as i have explained to you earlier okay and hormones are produced by endocrine glands in small amount and this small amount is enough to produce as much signal which is required by us okay so basically hormones regulate growth development and response of body hormones are of two type first is here lipid soluble and second is water soluble okay lipid soluble contains two types first is steroidal and second is thyroidal hormones thyroidal hormones comes from thyroid gland okay thyroid iodine you can understand this okay this here try try iodothyroidine and or t4 it is tetra tetra okay and about steroidal hormone we have estrogen progesterone testosterone cortisol cholesterol derivatives etc okay and when it comes to water soluble hormones they are of these three types okay they can be amine derived peptide derived eosinoid hormones okay amine derived contain epinephrine norepinephrine dopamine histamine sorry yeah histamine serotonin okay while as uh, peptide derived they contain insulin oxytocin adh anti diuretic hormone growth hormone and eosinoid hormones contain progesterone leukotrienes etc <clears throat> here is the figure showing all the endocrine glands okay so these contains our pituitary gland hypothalamus gland pineal gland parathyroid gland thyroid gland even heart secretes some hormones also okay adrenal gland pancreas stomach also secretes kidneys ovaries testes ovaries and testes so this is how the endocrinology goes on and after this video i'm going to explain about hypothalamus and thalamus thank you for this particular session and see you soon